Hey guys, it's Jake Mace. I have a really active lifestyle, martial arts, Tai Chi. I'm always working out. I'm always in nature. I'm always traveling. I'm really hard on the tools that I use every day, like my phone, my computer, my car keys, my wallet, things like that. In addition to breaking things all the time, I also had my identity stolen about six months ago. Somebody was able to walk next to me here in the Phoenix area with some sort of a computer device that stole the identification code of my credit card and they went on about a $4,000 spending spree all in about a one or two day period in the Phoenix area before the card was canceled. When that happened to me, I started doing a lot of research about RFID blocking technology in a wallet. Hopefully if you're a martial artist like me, you want your gear to be tough just like your body and your martial arts fighting techniques are tough. So I've come to you guys in the past showing you guys the pants I wear and the shoes I wear and the clothes I wear so I'm always ready for a fight but also looking professional. And I wanna show you guys today the wallet that I got a few months ago when I was really afraid that my identity would be stolen again. I wanna have a wallet that has self-defense in it in addition to my uh, physical body having self-defense in it. So I got this wallet because I'm into the environment. I've been vegan for almost 20 years and I wanted to have a wallet that was sustainable and non-leather so no animals had to suffer and also made out of renewable resources. So I found this company called Corker. You can see the name right there on the camera. Hopefully it comes through. And I've liked this wallet for about the last four or five months. So the Corker wallet is made of cork. And this entire wallet, it feels like leather, but it's made out of cork. So if you guys want to get a cork wallet that's big like this, that has no way to keep itself closed when you put money and receipts and cards and ID in it, it kind of stays open a little bit. And I would always put this wallet in my back pocket and it kind of makes my ass look really big, honestly. And I catch myself in videos a lot and when I have cards and receipts and money in this wallet, it really becomes very uncomfortable when I'm sitting in the car, when I'm sitting at a restaurant, when I'm like throwing a nice kick. Like I can't throw kicks as well when my wallet is big and bulky. And I've also had a really hard time taking this wallet in and out of my pocket easily. It always gets caught because it's so freaking big. But it does have RFID blocking technology in the wallet. Recently, I found a better wallet. So let me show you guys this one. This is the wallet I just got, and this is the one I'm using currently. I got this wallet, and I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not, okay? I've spent two days with it now, and literally, I love carrying it around. It's been a dream to put in my pocket. So look at the difference of size between this wallet called the Ridge Wallet. It says TI, which is titanium. It's kind of like a burned titanium design on there, and you can see how it's very small compared to the Cork Wallet. So when I take this Ridge wallet and put it in my pocket, it just slides in there real easily and I don't even feel it. The cool thing about it is it's so small, I can just put it in my front pocket and nobody really knows that it's in my pocket and I can throw all my kicks without any restriction. Let me show you guys really quick why this wallet is so cool. And by the way, I'm getting paid nothing from this company. They sent me a wallet and so I thought it'd be cool to give you guys a video about it because I really am gonna use this every day of my life and coming up, I'm gonna be traveling the world for about a year, and I needed a wallet that would be able to be as tough as me while I backpack and travel through Europe, Asia, uh, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Here's how it works. When you're gonna pay for something, see how this has this little slot right here? This is a really cool design. You hold the wallet and you push it right here, and then your cards kind of pop up like that. This happens to be a Chipotle gift card there on top. And I take my thumbs and I push the bottom, which fans out all the cards that are inside there. So if I need a card that's in the middle, I just pick the middle card and pull it out and then put it back in if I want to put it back in there. And then I just slide them back in when I'm done. And so I only have about six or seven cards in there, but you can put up to 15, I think, cards inside. The other good side effect of this small minimalist wallet is that it forced me to clean out my wallet. And I know a lot of you guys, your wallet is like a pack rat dead space of all these former gift cards and loyalty cards and receipts and stuff. So this minimalist wallet is keeping me much more organized because it's forcing me to not pack rat everything in my wallet. If you want to keep cash, it has this 
money clip in the back. And so you just take your cash and you fold it in half and then in half again. And you slide it underneath the money clip that's right there. See that money clip? We pull it up and just slide the cash in there and it's inside. Guys, super strong, made of titanium. They also included a screwdriver in case I ever get a screw that comes loose, I can just replace it with replacement screws. This was included with the purchase of the wallet. It's pretty cool. And it screws in half so you can kind of keep it in your bag, minimalist style. It's also important to have this screwdriver because there's another accessory that you can do. If you don't like the money clip, I got a second wallet here to show you guys. This one is made of carbon fiber. So if I hold the titanium ridge wallet and the carbon fiber ridge wallet together, the carbon fiber is much, much lighter. I just thought that the titanium burn look looked so cool. So if I'm holding the carbon fiber wallet, I already took the money clip off the back with the screwdriver and I installed a cash strap. So this cash strap now allows me to keep my cash underneath the strap instead of the money clip. And why this is important is because I think that the cash strap is a little bit less invasive against the money. I feel like the money doesn't get torn up as much on the strap. And when I use the strap, it um, kind of is more streamlined and sleek. The money clip can sometimes catch on your clothes, even though it doesn't really, but it, it's much more sleek in the strap. They're both really good. Uh, I'll be using the money clip on the titanium one and the cash strap on the carbon fiber one. So now I have my Ridge wallet really sleek, no sharp edges, and it just slides right into my pocket and I can go along on my way. Let me know down in the comments if you guys like videos like this. I get lots of requests for videos of what camera gear I use, what computers I use, what editing I use to do the amount of volume of videos we put out for the martial arts, for Tai Chi, for meditation for you guys, for fitness. So this is one video about some of the gear I carry with me all the time. And if you guys follow me coming up through Portugal and Spain and France and Switzerland and Italy and Greece and Germany and Sweden, you better believe I'll be carrying this Ridge Wallet with me all the time. I'm taking two with me so I can swap them out. I don't know if maybe I'll lose one, maybe one will get taken, maybe I'll break one. They shouldn't break, but if they do, I got a second one as a backup. Thanks for watching this video about my gear. Hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit the bell button to turn on my post notifications. Comment down below if you guys think this wallet is cool and if you wanna get one for yourself, I'll put a link to their website down below. Maybe in the future, they told me they'll have an affiliate program where I can get you guys a discount, but for now, just click on the Ridge Wallet website link below, get one for yourself and uh, tell them Jake Mace sent you. And finally, before I take off, I have three YouTube channels now. Don't forget, there's this one, Kung Fu and Tai Chi Center with Jake Mace. My second YouTube channel is called Vegan Athlete, and it's all about the food I eat and the garden I grow. And the third YouTube channel is a video blog channel of my girlfriend Nicole and my life and what we do as a couple. And we'll be posting to that channel every day as we do our farming trip through the world. So go to Adventures with Jake and Nicole or Wandering Gardeners on Instagram. I'm gonna post a link down below right now to the Adventures with Jake and Nicole video blog YouTube channel. Please click on it, go subscribe to it because I did a video showing how to install the cash strap and how to take off the money clip and Nicole got a female looking one that she's gonna be using herself. So if you're a woman and want a wallet like this, Nicole wasn't sure if she wanted one because she thought it was like a man's wallet. But when it came in, she looked so jealous. Go to the Adventures with Jake and Nicole channel, the video blog channel, subscribe, and check out that video.